Hi everyone! Alright, now for this particular video, we will learn how to draw the ray diagram for a curved mirror, which is under the topic of uh, Form 4, Chapter 5, Light, Reflection of Light. Okay, so if you can see, there's four uh, pictures over here of the mirrors that we normally see. This is for the makeup mirror. Alright, this particular mirror whereby it's actually to avoid theft, uh, robbery or snatch stuff or stealing stuff at the supermarket or giant. Then we have the side mirror of the car or the vehicles. And finally, this is actually the mirror that we see at uh, sharp turnings or sharp curve, right? In order to see the opposite cars. Okay, before we start this particular video and before I start teaching you, actually while I teach, you can actually practice together using the notes that I have all right, that I have distributed out, or if not, please come and see me. Uh, or you can actually print this out online. You can just search online for this to draw the ray diagrams, okay? So when I explain later, you can actually use this to draw your ray diagram. Okay, so let's start. Okay, ray diagrams for mirror, curved mirror. Before we draw the ray diagram, there's a few things we need to know. Number one, the position of the object, where is the object located? And we normally take one point of the object, normally we take the top of the object. The second part that we need to find out is the location of the mirror's focal point and the center of the curvature. So over here, you have to watch the second video where I explain the focal point of the concave mirror and the convex mirror. There will be three rays that I will teach you today to draw. And all the rays starts from the same point, which is actually at the top of the object, okay? But we only need two. So the intersection of any two of these rays locates the image. The third ray normally serves to check the construction of our ray diagram. Okay, so first ray, all right, we have two mirrors, the concave mirror and the convex mirror. Remember the previous video I said the boy is afraid of entering the cave? So the focal point F is in front of the concave mirror, okay? So the first ray, how do we draw? Draw from the top of the object, this part, at the top, okay? This is the top part, parallel to the principal axis, this is the principal axis. So if we were to draw the ray, follow the red line, from the top of the object towards the mirror, and then reflect, which means bounce the line back, passing through the focal point okay so that's reflected through the focal points because concave mirror the fear is in front all right convex mirror on the other hand the focal point is behind the mirror so what we do is from the top of the object all right from the top of the object draw towards the mirror and then put your ruler at the focal point draw dotted lines to this position where the um, first ray is actually hitting the mirror Okay, and it will bounce back off. So remember the back part, you have to use dotted line because it shows that the line is behind the mirror, right? The focal point is behind the mirror. So this is the first ray, again, parallel to the principal axis, passing through F for concave mirror. For convex mirror, parallel to the principal axis, from F, it will bounce out away. Remember, convex mirror, behind the mirror, we have to use dotted lines, all right? Next, second ray. Second ray is opposite from the first ray. Second ray drawn from the top of the object through the focal point, F, and is reflected parallel to the principal axis. So let's see, concave mirror. From the top of the object, down towards the mirror, Right, passing through the focal point and reflect parallel to the principal axis. So this is the parallel one. Okay. Then for convex mirror, from the top of the object down towards the focal point, remember as long as it goes behind the mirror, you have to use dotted line. And then at this position, it will reflect back parallel to the principal axis. Okay, that's parallel. Remember, there should be a dotted line behind here. Okay, so this is the second ray. 
The third ray is the easiest one of all. I prefer to use this ray when I draw my ray diagram that is drawn from the top of the object through the center of the curvature C and is reflected back along its incoming path. So let's see concave mirror. From the top of the object, passing down straight to the mirror and we reflect it back up. Okay, so remember one thing, the arrow must go down first and then come back up. Just one straight line will do. All right. Same thing to convex mirror. From the top of the object, straight towards the center of the curvature, which behind, remember, it has to be dotted lines. And then it bounces back in front. All right. So this is actually for convex mirror. Remember, behind is dotted line. Behind mirror is dotted line. Okay. Alright, so images form in a concave mirror. We have already done three, so right now we're going to go one by one. Alright, we have object distance u. Object distance means from the object to the mirror. Alright, we have the ray diagram and the image characteristic. Okay, remember while we are doing this, while I'm teaching this, you can actually use this particular method. Alright, this particular diagram to draw and practice your drawing. Okay, so let's start. If the object distance is greater than the radius, how does it look like? This is the concave mirror. We have the focal point and we have the center of the curvature. Remember, from the center of the curvature to the point P is our radius. From point F to point P, that's our focal length. So the object's distance is greater than radius, which means if this is the radius, the object will be somewhere further away. So here we have the arrow. Remember when you draw the arrow, Label O over there. Alright, so this is the front part in respect with the object. So from the top, draw a line parallel to the principal axis and then this is concave, focal point in front. Yes, pass through the focal length. Okay, the next one, you can choose the other one. So for me, it's easy for me if I use the third ray. From the, print, from the object's top, straight down, passing through the center of the curvature to the mirror and reflect back up. Okay, so I have two rays here. Two is enough. So you see this intersection point here? I start from the top of the arrow. So this intersection point is the top of the arrow as well. Alright, so this is the top of the arrow. So my labeling, this is my image, I. Okay, so for the image I, Alright, for the image I, sorry about that. So let's analyze the image characteristic. If the object and the image are in the same side, both in front of the mirror, I consider the image to be real. Real means that if I were to put a screen over here, I'll be able to see it. Real image can form on the screen. Alright, next. Inverted Y object, the arrow head is on top. But for the image, the arrow is pointing downwards, so it is inverted, upside down. Next, diminish. Look at the size. Diminish means that the size has been reduced. So the object is bigger, it's taller, alright? But the image is actually shorter if you were to measure it. So that's the meaning of diminish. And it is formed between the center of the curvature and also the focal point. Alright, so these are the characteristics. Normally in SPM, we would actually use a uh, few characteristics. Real, inverted, diminished. Seldom we will say about the position of the image form. Okay, so that is actually for object greater, object distance greater than radius. Now what if the object is at the radius? Okay, again, this is concave. Object is at radius right now. Okay, draw two lines parallel to the principal axis, pass through the focal point, then pass through the focal point to the mirror, reflect it back away. Notice I cannot pass through the center of the curvature line already because or else it's going to be a straight vertical line. So this intersection point is my image. Okay, so object is 
pointing upwards but my image is pointing downwards so the image characteristic for this is real because it is the same side as the object okay it is inverted still and if you were to measure this when you draw your own ray diagram you will notice that it's actually the same size okay so these are the three characteristic for the image form okay and it forms at point C okay so let's practice some more what if the object distance is less than the radius but bigger than the focal length this is the diagram of the concave mirror object is in between center of the curvature and the focal point so let's draw parallel to the principal axis reflected at a mirror pass through the focal point and then pass through the focal point parallel to the principal axis and the intersection point over here will be the head of our image so what is the image characteristic right now is it the same side as the object if it is is it real or is it virtual and your answer is I hope it's real because the image characteristic is real it's the same side as the object okay so it's a real uh, image then let's look at the what else inverted object is pointing upwards but the image is pointing downwards and then finally look at the size objects height and the image height the image is obviously taller isn't it larger so it is magnified and the position of the image is more than the center of the curvature to the point which is greater than the radius all right very quickly when the object is located at the focal point this is a special uh, ray diagram why is that so so if the object is at the focal point let's draw parallel to the principal axis pass through the focal point and then the other one I can't pass through the focal point because the object is at the focal point so I can draw the other one which is from the object to the mirror passing through the center of the curvature if you notice one thing this two particular line they are parallel to each other so that's why I said this particular image it's actually a special ray diagram okay so the image form there's no intersection so you cannot say it's real or virtual but sometimes we are unknown all right we can't say it's real or virtual because there's no intersection point and whether is it inverted or not we don't know all we know is that it will form at infinity we have no idea where it formed in front or behind the mirror so normally for object located at the focal point we said that the image is formed at infinity clear all right now last one for concave if the object is less than the focal length which means this is our concave mirror the object is in front of the focal point so let's draw two rays parallel to the principal axis pass through our focal point then straight passing through the center of the curvature reflected back on the same line do you notice that this area this region is getting wider and wider so this tells us that there's no possible way that the ray can actually touch or intersect each other at this particular position but if you notice over here the light rays are actually getting closer so which means that the image might form behind the mirror so if i draw behind the mirror what do i have to do draw dotted lines good so drawing dotted extending this dotted line no need arrow already and extending the blue line you will see that it will actually intersect at this position all right intersecting at this position that will be my image the head of my image and if you notice my image is drawn dotted lines also because it's behind the mirror so what's the characteristic of this particular image first is it virtual or is it real yes it's supposed to be virtual because it is different side as the object so image characteristic number one virtual number two is it both pointing upwards or the image pointing downwards if it's pointing upwards which means it is both upright the image is upright and then the image is obviously magnified already and the position 
behind the mirror at the back of the mirror. So these are actually the ray diagrams for concave mirror. Then you might be asking, what about convex mirror? Alright, let's try to draw convex mirror. Okay, um, this part, linear magnification of the spherical mirror M is defined as the ratio of the image height over the object height. So you can actually find the magnification using this. Where V is the image distance from the pole and U object distance from the pole. Okay, alright. Concave mirror that is normally used is when applying makeup or mirror used by the dentist to observe the teeth of a patient are normally concave mirror. Why? The distance from the face or teeth to the mirror is less than the focal length. Therefore, it enlarged or the image is upright can be seen. Alright, image form in a convex mirror. There's only one ray diagram for convex mirror. So this is a convex mirror. Remember, focal point of a convex mirror is at the back. No matter what position of the object, whether it's here, here, or anywhere in front. Okay, so that's my object. Label it object. Parallel to the principal axis. Focal point is behind, so this part has to be dotted line. Alright, and reflect back upwards. And then the second line. Towards, straight towards the center of the curvature. Again, behind the mirror is dotted line. And you notice there's an intersection point over here. Alright, this intersection point will be the image. And if you notice again, I draw this using dotted lines. So this particular image, let's compare to the object. The side, object and image is at opposite side of the mirror. Object is in front, image is behind. So the image characteristic is virtual. Object is pointing upwards, image is also pointing upwards. So it is upright. The size of the object, object is this tall but image is shorter, so reduced in size or diminished. Okay, so that is for concave and convex mirror. I hope that you can actually learn how to draw this. Alright, convex mirror, this type of mirror is often used in stores to foil shoplifter. A single mirror can be used to survey a large field of view because it forms a smaller image of the interior of the store. So please learn how to practice practice more on how to draw the ray diagrams, okay? So that's all for drawing ray diagram for concave and convex mirror. I hope you try it at home. If you still can't find it, you can always replay this video, right? Okay, so that's all for this particular video. Good luck in trying to draw any problem. You can actually come and see me during school hours. Alright, thank you and bye!